Hello, you billions of bald apes. It's Wondering Clo here. Day five. Stay five. I'm going to go with five. As usual, we've got... I've got a bad throat. I think it's because we're in an um, inside cabin and you've got this air con thing. Where is it? Yeah. Yeah, but you feel a breeze when you're lying in bed. Is it that? That's a speaker. Anyway, <clears throat> so you're in aircon and now my throat's really dry. But that's not why I switch you on. It's a new day. Obviously, you get the little. Uh, Snip it, you get the camera off the front of the boat so you get a little clue of where you are, but you can only see forward. We can see there's a caravan site and some water. But this morning, um, when we pulled into the port, because it's now like nine o'clock or something, because we wanted to sleep because we didn't have much sleep yesterday. They do a thing every time they pull into the port, they like uh, tell you some information over the speaker. I can't remember all of it because it, <laughs> it briefly woke me up, but he mentioned a 21 metre diving board and a swimming area or something. Wild swimming area. He says don't use the diving board because people have got hurt. But he mentioned a swimming area. That's the bit what I, you know, took notice of him saying. Anyway. Just gonna have this coffee. We literally just woke up. Literally just. We're gonna have the coffee. Breakfast. Okay. Up onto uh, the outside deck on the top of the boat so we can have a butchers around where we even are. And then um, we'll get off the boat and we'll have some adventuring. In. Oh, where are we? Um, Helisit. 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 Chloe says hell is it, so that's where we are. It's good because you can see where you want to go before you get down low. There's a waterfall. Not much that way, there's a bridge. Right there. <laughs> there. There's the swimming area. <laughs> and there we have it. It looks like it goes up there, higher, into the valley. No, it's no, a Viking it's port. Oh my god, so once upon oh, a yeah, time. Gonna be over there, Jess. Yeah. There's all the boats. Once upon a time, you've, little... the ships had come down, and this would be a bustling Viking port. How awesome's that? Yeah, they're on this edge, aren't they? Crashed motorbike in a box. Oh, Mission Impossible. So it's from Mission Impossible. Stunt bike. Diesel's the cheapest I've seen it. <laughs> You've got a uh, shed here selling, well, renting bikes, selling tools and rig rides and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> There's a map There's over map. there. Oh, the ferry.
there are blows on that. So heli set. I think unless you book a tour, there's not much. Well, I mean, there's a lot to see. It is awesome. It's Norway's fjords and really far north, and it's generally awesome. But if you want to be wondering where shops and generally seeing things, there's, there's not much here. If you want to see that type of thing, um, hello. There's a waterfall and hills. And three tourist shops that sell the same thing as the other tourist shops did. And that's it. Here's the swimming area. What do you ate the sand for? It'd be crunchy. It smells like the ocean. I mean, it is the ocean, but. I don't know why I didn't expect the full. Yeah, over here. Just having a little feel of the water. That is cold. That is so cold. So cold. That lad there, he's jumping off the platform. My God. I think once you're in there though, once you're in there, it won't be so bad. What a nutter. Oh, here comes Chloe. Hang on, Chloe, we're going together. Let me get changed. Basically a dry robe advert, isn't it this? Swim in the fjord and be warm and dry afterwards. Look at that, they've even got little fire pits. That'd be brilliant. It's just a shame we're only here for a few more hours. We can't be having a fire. The question I've got is what's in this hut? Oh, it's a grindstone. And then that grindstone would have been turned by the water wheel. There's the uh, blue, look at that, look at the pair of that water. Look at 
the spray coming off it. I think the rock might be a bit slippery for me to climb up. Yeah. I won't try that. And that's a wrap for Helicit. I will give a little tip, which we discovered. Get up early, and then there's a boat that goes to somewhere. Uh, what was it called? Goringa. Goringa. If you get up early enough, because obviously to get there and back, there's a boat that goes to somewhere that's bigger and got more stuff. I mean, we had fun because we, we uh, wild swimming was on our list, and we've done that now. So we're happy. Yeah, it makes no difference because our activities has just been getting in water. Which is fine. There's the big boat. So we're doing the sail away from Helicit. And this manoeuvre that the ship's doing is quite mental for a ship this big. So that's the back. There's the one side. There's the other side. As you all know, this ship's massive. And he's doing a 180 turn. Spinning it round. Quite mental for something this big, really. The ship's almost as long as the thing is wide. England one. It's the end of day five, and I'm knackered. Um, tomorrow is the day I'm looking forward to the most. It's the Viking. <laughs> Chloe told me that today was the main. I suppose they're all Viking places. There's a Viking port. Tomorrow's more of a city, isn't it? Mm -mm, yeah. That's what you said. On the thing. Yeah, the thing said. So it's this is a larger town. I'm sure, it's a sure anyway. It's much bigger. Look at that sunset. It's raining, may we add. Yeah, it's raining. It's not cold though, is it? Yeah, it is a little bit. 
Awesome. Sayonara, bald apes.